students take a, a standard Victor rat, rat trap and use the springs out of that or the whole rat trap to power a, a vehicle that's made from a, a kit that we supplied so they're limited to a certain allotment of materials and the uh, goal is to, to work as a team and produce a car that goes the maximum distance. That's what we tested today. They were thinking that they were going to have the same rules as last year but we changed them this year so um, otherwise it would be, be a more or less of a repeat of the first place car last year is what everybody tried to copy. Um, so we changed the rules up and made them think outside the box in a sense this year versus last year. It's a real world you know, experience for them where they're working as a team as they would out, out in industry. So without both, you know, without the manufacturing or the engineering, it, you know, it wouldn't get to the point that it is and a finished product. <laughs> well, we've had a lot of problems with consistency in the testing for our car, and we were actually really surprised that it worked as well as it did in that one run. Um, everything came together as we had kind of planned and it worked out great. Our first arm it was, it was just a direct drive to the axle, give it a little more torque so to get it going. Um, and then the second arm, it would become a pulley effect. Um, as it pulls through, it uh, the string loops through um, an eyelet here and it gives us a lot less torque, but um, a lot more pull. Uh, it's been getting bigger every year. Uh, word gets out. Um, we have past students that have, have uh, been involved in it in years past, actually come back to see it. Um, and, you know, their, their families, um, they put in a lot of work. It's been nine weeks that they've been working on it. So um, pretty much any of their spare time or free time um, that they have, they've been, been working on.